few more changes. I've tilted the motor, motors back a little bit and increased the size of the elevons. And let's see if that gives us more pitch authority. I had to reduce the, the p-value on the elevons uh, because we've got the horrible shakes going. Uh, here's that little video. So I had to reduce the P down uh, so that they wouldn't shake so much. Oh, look at that, that's better. Transition and, hey, we're going better. Probably you've tilted back a little bit too far. Let's try transition. Yeah, we're getting there. Much better. Not that much better. So that was an improvement. Uh, we can work with that. I've broken my motor mount there, so I'm going to have to glue that back together or reprint it. Yeah, come up with a better design, I think. But uh, that was part of the problem, getting the motor thrust angle exactly right. Pretty happy. Uh, we can move forward. So that's an improvement. I keep knocking off my fins, unfortunately, but uh, it's going pretty well. Um, vertical is pretty good as long as you can keep it vertical. Occasionally I get the, the uh, oscillations and shutters on the servos, um, but if it flips over too far, I can't co correct it and it keeps um, flying horizontal instead of vertical. So anyway, uh, I'm a lot closer and we'll Keep experimenting and I'm putting all my settings down in a blog post and there's tips about how the initial setup of a any tail setter and some specific setups for the Thea and the Penguin. Uh, neither of them are, are perfect and I will keep changing the uh, the blog post to reflect the changes I'm making uh, and there'll be a link to the uh, diff all file as well. Uh, so link in the description to my blog uh, go and check it out if you if you're interested in setting up uh, a tail sitter thanks for watching see you in the next video